Hello and welcome to another Comfy UI tutorial. Today we'll be looking at two sets of notes by the same developer, namely So So So, who has blessed us with an I2B Gen node implementation for Comfy UI, as well as a Bria, a background remover. So first and foremost are video generation nodes. I will link the repo down below. The only thing you need to keep in mind is to make sure to install the dependencies otherwise you might bump into some errors. Other than that, the um, workflow is pretty straightforward. So we have our output from the video helper suite and here we load our I2V Gen Excel model as well as let's say some type of sampler where we put our negative and positive prompts as well as the number of frames. I've done so, some testing with 32 frames, however, it takes a very long time and the model is preferably used at 16 frames. So I have an image ready here that we will try to generate something with so that you guys can see what, what, what it looks like if we do this with, for example, another image. All right. So here we have a bike in a studio setting and I have a prompt that I would like to use. So I will keep the 360 degrees rotation and I will say Akira Superbike on stage rotating 360 degrees. that's about it okay and now we launch that and i'll see you in a minute all right so here we have our bike as you can see it's not rotating however we have some light plays going on so yeah that's one of the down parts of these type of models although they produce very coherent and nice results you have barely any control of the actual output so it's a bit of a numbers game we can run this prompt uh, several times uh, maybe adapt it uh, ever so slightly to get uh, closer to the result we want. Okay, up next we have the remove background tool. So here I prepared a com comparison of what we normally use for remove background being this note. And here we have the new Bria uh, model background remover and we will compare both of those. So as you can see, this is a very tricky image to remove the background. It has a lot of splash going on and many details. So as expected, uh, here we get a very poor result and we are missing a lot of the splash going out from the left side. However, with this new model, as you can see, we get a better result with much more detail as well as some of the splashes on the left side. So I think this is by far the best background remover I've seen. Um, we can eventually try it also with our super bike, see what that gives and how it compares up to the normal background remover. So this should go fairly quick. Okay, so these are pretty close to each other, I would say. So yeah, depending on the complexity of the image, you might be fine with one or the other. However, from my experiments, I would say that this is a much better result. So as you can see, it also has like this side element here, which is lacking here. And it also managed to clearly isolate this little step here, which we don't see on the other image. Okay, cool. I will link both repos in the description down below. Also keep in mind for the background removal one, you will need to go here and download the background removal model and put it into the model folder of the custom node. Do not rename the model, otherwise it will give you an error as it expects the model to be named a certain name. So keep the model named as is when you download it and everything will be just fine. Okay, that was the video. I hope you liked it. Dislike it. Consider subscribing. I'm out. Cheers.